What if I told you that whales, these colossal rulers of the ocean, were once land-walking creatures? Millions of years ago, long before the ocean belonged to the giants we know today, their ancestors walked on land. Their transformation from land-dwelling hunters to oceanic titans is one of the most bizarre evolutionary journeys ever recorded. Welcome to the Bazaar, where today we unravel the mind-boggling story of whale evolution. Our story begins around 50 million years ago with Pachycetus, the earliest known ancestor of modern whales. Looking more like a dog than a sea creature, this strange mammal had features that hinted at its aquatic future. Eyes positioned high on its skull, perfect for peering above the water while stalking prey. It had strong legs for running. Fossils reveal that its ear bones share distinct features with modern whales, an evolutionary breadcrumb connecting land mammals to ocean giants. Unlike today's whales, Pachycetus had fur and lived in shallow freshwater streams. Scientists believe Pachycetus waded into rivers to hunt, taking the first steps toward an aquatic life. Pachycetus had sharp teeth, indicating it was likely a carnivore that fed on fish and small animals along riverbanks. Fast forward a few million years and evolution has crafted Ambulocetus, also known as the walking whale. This bizarre beast had short, powerful legs and a long, flexible spine, allowing it to swim with undulating movements and had crocodile-like with webbed feet. It hunted by ambushing prey in water, using its powerful jaws to snatch fish and possibly small land animals. Scientists believe it could both walk on land and hunt in the water, making it a true amphibious predator, and it swam by moving its spine up and down, a motion still seen in modern whales. Ambulocetus was about 10 feet or 3 meters long. The next major shift came with Rhodocetus, an animal that looked more like a sea creature than its ancestors. Its legs had shrunk significantly and its body became more elongated, making it an efficient swimmer. It was at this point that these proto-whales spent more time in the water than on land, signaling a dramatic turn in their evolutionary path. Its nostrils began shifting backward, an early step toward the blowhole we see today. Despite being a marine creature, Rhodocetus still had hooves on its feet, a reminder of its terrestrial past. Around 40 million years ago, creatures like Basilosaurus and Dorudan ruled the ancient seas. These fully aquatic species had nearly lost their hind limbs, but tiny vestigial legs still remained, an eerie reminder of their land-dwelling ancestors. Basilosaurus was a monstrous predator growing up to 60 feet long, dominating the ancient oceans with its powerful jaws. It hunted sharks and other marine life. Dorodon was smaller but shared similar aquatic adaptations, including tail flukes and streamlined bodies. Basilosaurus had a surprisingly small brain compared to its massive body, suggesting it was more instinct-driven than modern whales. Fossils show Dorodon calves were likely preyed upon by adult Basilosaurus, revealing a strange predator-prey relationship within early whale species. Basilosaurus bones are so dense they were once mistaken for a sea serpent, adding to its mysterious reputation. Fast forward to today and the descendants of these ancient creatures have become the largest animals to ever exist, but the bizarre story doesn't end here. Hidden deep within the bodies of modern whales are remnants of their past, tiny, useless pelvic bones, a ghostly trace of their land-walking days. Some rare cases have even revealed whales born with small external hind limbs, a chilling echo of their evolutionary history. What other animals might have more bizarre evolutionary secrets hidden beneath the surface? Let us know in the comments. The mystery of evolution. Why did whales return to water? Scientists believe factors like abundant marine food, climate shifts and predator avoidance drove whales back to the sea. The transition is one of nature's strangest evolutionary twists, highlighting life's adaptability. From four-legged land mammals to the ocean's most awe-inspiring giants, the story of whale evolution is stranger than fiction. But it begs the question, if nature could turn land creatures into sea giants, what bizarre transformations might the future hold?